Good morning. I'm coming to you live from the carpet. Today is Tuesday. And normally on Monday or Tuesday, we do either a dashboard confessional or a carpet confessional. And today we're doing a carpet confessional because I was sick of being in my car. So here I am behind me in my Christmas tree. And there are two things that I want to talk to you guys about today. The number one thing on my list is um, this book you can see it see it's got our like coffee stains on it um it's well loved but this book is called unwrapping the greatest gift and it's by ann Voskamp. see where eden scribbled on it it literally is the most beautiful book um that you have ever seen with the prettiest little illustrations but it is a um like a family devotional for the month of December. It's sort of like an Advent book and we absolutely love it. I'll be honest, I think we got it three years ago and we have always only made it like, it's so bad, like seven or eight days in because December is busy y'all. That's all I have to say. We have basketball games. Matt has basketball and football going on. Both boys play basketball now. Eden's in tap, um, I work, Matt works, somebody's got to do the shopping, somebody's got to do the cleaning, somebody's got to do the decorating, there's all kinds of things going on in December, as you well know, like Christmas concerts, Christmas programs, um, fundraiser things, special things at church, special parties with work or family, it's crazy, but this year, Cohen, um, I think last night or the night before, he was like, we have to do our Advent book this year. So I am committing that we are going to read this together as a family um, as much as we can. Like if Caden's gone at basketball, then he'll just have to miss it. But we are going to do it this year and we are going to make it to December 24th and December 25th this year. I'm going to make it a priority. But again, um, Unwrapping the Greatest Gift, it's by Ann Voskamp. It is beautifully written. It's beautifully illustrated. The kids will love the pictures. Um, it has like little, like two interactive questions at the end of each little reading. I think the readings take about like eight minutes each night. Um, but yeah, pick that up if you don't have it. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's just something that we leave sitting out on our coffee table every Christmas. So that's the first thing. The second thing is super fun. I wanna know. Hallmark movies, and I brought this up because I posted on Facebook last night that Matt watched in this chair last night, his very first ever Hallmark movie, and like the first 10 minutes, he was like, oh, he's like, I might be into this, and then after 10 minutes, he kept looking at me like this. Are you serious? That's what he kept saying. Are you serious? Are you serious? And I was like, listen, it's just for fun. Like, I know how cheesy it is. I know how like goofy and dumb how bad the writing is, how bad the acting is, and how every single story is basically the same thing. I get it, but it's still fun. Like it's, it's brainless, mind-numbing entertainment. <laughs> and I think for Christmas, women are like, give me something that I can sit in front of and go like this. Right? We love that. Give me a blanket, give me a little cup of coffee, and let me just sit and stare at the TV and the bad acting, okay? That's all I want to do. But seriously, I have a girlfriend who is a smart fart and she goes to Harvard because she's a smart fart and she's a writer and she was like, Andrea, we should write movies for Hallmark. Yes, I'm so in. So then while I was working this morning, I was thinking like, what would I write Hallmark movies, Christmas Hallmark movies about? Like, what are some of the storylines I would do? And I was thinking, like, they need to be, like, real life. You know what I mean? Like, a dad who works too much, right? Or um, a dad who dies and the mom has to make the first Christmas without the dad, like, super special for her kids. Um, that happened in my life. Um, I was thinking about like a dad who is away or a mom who is away serving her country and the dad or the mom is at home and has to, you know, take care of things. Or, um, what was the other one? A single mom who is just like working her can off and has, um, you know, one or two kids and needs a Christmas miracle. Those are real life, Hallmark. Come on. Stop giving me like the gingerbread baker who falls in love with 
um, the restaurant owner and, you know, really, I don't know a gingerbread maker, so stop. Just stop with the gingerbread makers or the, um, what's another one? Like the girl who falls in love with the secret prince. Get real. Anyway, so that's my two cents. Those are my Hallmark movie ideas. I want to know what your Hallmark movie ideas are. If you could write one Hallmark Christmas movie, what would it be about? Tell me. Comment below. I want to know. I want to read all of these. I bet you guys have some amazing ideas. And with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. I'm off and we'll see you real soon.